Hi all. Welcome back to another session on uh, web methods. So in this session, I would like to show how do we install uh, Pixels on uh, integration server using the SAG update manager. So for this exercise, what I wanted to do is I wanted to take an example of the file polling from the previous exercises. So what I've done is I have uh, tested successfully in one of my integration server and it was working successfully. Then I'm trying to move the same to another integration server, but somehow I see that uh, the files are uh, not getting picked up and I see some errors on the um, log file also. So I've raised uh, a ticket in uh, software AG and they said, so to better uh, install the fixes for uh, the web methods for uh, the, the server on which you are running. So if you see my screen, I could see that uh, 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 even though I'm placing some files in the integration server, so it is giving me this error, which means that uh, some of the jar file might be corrupted or it might be missing. So we'll get the fix in uh, um, when we install the uh, fix from the Empower. So uh, in my other server, I have installed the fixes. So these are the fixes that I have installed in uh, the port uh, 5555. So these are all the fixes I got from uh, the SAG update manager. And I could see that there is a fix given by SAG for flat file. So this is present in uh, the one of my server, but not in the other. So here in this, for example, if I show you, so this is the file polling directory where it takes the data and it should insert the data into this uh, uh, directory. So if I go to config and uh, D SAG integration server instances, this one packages, file polling demo config. I'll just take some uh, file from either area directory or anything from here. Set that in, I mean, I will place that file, copied file into config directory and it should get picked up. This is one of my use case I have uh, checked yesterday. See, the file has run successfully and it has placed the, I mean, it has run successfully and it has placed the records also. Now, let me just remove this and go to my other server, which is running on 7777 and it is looking on uh, this location. So if I go to my location here in FP files, I could see that I placed the file already here. So let's say, back here, file is not getting picked up by the other server. So this was the issue I was facing. So in one node it is working fine and in other node it is not working fine. So what I did is I downloaded the software AG uh, bootstrapper uh, from the Empower site, which is another, uh, uh, let's say installation file. Uh, so I placed it in my installables. So if I go to installable, yeah, this is the update uh, manager I installed from uh, software AG and I install that in this location. This is the bootstrapper. So now I wanted to install fixes on uh, the other node, which is SAG2 here. So I'll just uh, go to SAG update bin. The thing is, when you're installing a server or something, it should directly install you the update manager also. For instance, if I go to my SAG3 or SAG4, I have inbuilt SAG update manager installed, but for some reason, the in the other three nodes which I have, I don't have the software AG update manager. So that's the reason I had to like say, uh, install it as separate uh, instance from software AG site 
So I went there and I uh, downloaded the bootstrapper. And after downloading the bootstrapper, I just go to bin and click on update manager. Not this, this is an icon. The GUI, GUI, you can either install from the command prompt or from GUI. So I'm using the GUI for this. So give it some time. It uh, generally takes some time to load. And I'll click on manage fixes. And I'll, in trial versions, this install fixes from Empower is uh, not available. So I'm installing the fixes from image. So it just takes the image. Point it to your uh, location where the image is present. So maybe this. Gone uh, next. Click on next, it will uh, try to install it from the image here. And it will take good amount of time also. So I wanted to install it on. So if you have any support patch key for your product separately given by software, you will enter the patch key. I don't have anything like that. So I just click on next. It shows these are all the fixes that are available. If you are unsure like what fix to install, you can just select all. So it is showing a fix for uh, uh, flat file. So if you are unsure like what needs to be checked. So uh, just check all. And then click on next. but be very sure like what fixes are you installing and so you, you shouldn't directly install it on production. So once you install something on your test environment, you need to test all your scenarios uh, which are present and if you are satisfied with that scenarios, then you can uh, create some change request and uh, take a maintenance window and install the fixes on production. So you shouldn't directly install the fixes on uh, production without testing in your dev and test environments. So once the status reaches uh, 100%, uh, it will uh, install the downloaded fixes also to the uh, integration server. So these are the uh, fixes that are installed uh, with this uh, particular file now. So it has installed the integration server fix nine and those details. Let's click close. It has parallelly stopped the server in the uh, background also. It stopped at uh, 6.57, it's like 7 o'clock. Server is getting restarted on its own. Now the server is up. 
and could see that the, the server has also run. It has picked up the file also. Previously, it was not working. So if you see it, uh, errors, right? Like, file polar. Previously, we got this error saying that it couldn't uh, uh, file pull filter uh, from input string. That error has come. And after we installed the fixes, so the file got picked up also. And it got uh, processed too. So after installation of log4j version, and it picked up the file. And here, like oh, the file should be already there in this. So this got picked up from the uh, latest location. So now let me delete it and again show it. So if I go back to the D, D sorry, C, FP files, if something is in done directory, take this large file fp files okay. See, now the file got picked up it is uh, still processing the file and once that is done I should see some entries in this. See, the file got picked up and it has processed the entries. Now, let's do one more thing. I have a big file. So, this is inserting correctly. Now, let me do another test with the existing uh, environment where D, SAG, integration server, instances, Bichit, packages, uh, file polling demo config. So I wanted to place a very big file. Yeah, this is my big file, which has uh, on hundred thousand uh, records in this. So it should create. So it uh, the my file parts is at let's say. 1000 per record so it should create me 1001 records because there are uh, there should be 100 records 100 files should be created so let me copy this and i'll go to fp files this is where the new uh, environment is running like i would deploy it into new one so it is going here and i'm going to place the file here so the 11 mb file is placed and it has been picked up also notice this it is at 640 so i mean uh, it's 916 and all so this will get changed so when this get changed so it means that the uh the new file has been picked up and it is inserting the entries into uh, this table so if i just refresh it see everything got changed at changed to 718 and it is processing the files 29 and finally two see 101 files got uh, placed in target system so now it is working in both dev environment and SIT environment also so in this way you install the fixes and test your changes once the uh, fixes are installed successfully thank you